In today's video, we're opening a Strike of Neos booster box for the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh! Strike of Neos first edition box opening, searching for the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Last time we did one of these, we pulled the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card in Ultra Rare. We have not pulled it in the High Rarity Ultimate Rare. So let's take a look at the box. Hopefully this is the box that will do it. Strike of Neos, really awesome box. 2007 release, you know, it's got a little, little scratching on it. Let's see what this thing has inside. All right, let's just cut that thing open. There it goes. What will be inside of this box? There are a lot of scratching on the box itself, which is kind of weird. Oh, hopefully we don't have a scam here. That would be bad. And check that out. It's kind of strange how much scratching is on there. Let's check the let's check the packs. Okay, everything looks fine. That's so weird that they had all that scratching on the back. Okay, for a second I was like, uh oh. Packs all look very legit. So I don't know why there is a, a bunch of scratching on the box that's sealed. Pretty weird. Uh, first edition packs all looking pretty solid. Looks like there are all the packs here. Well, I got this from a super trusted source, which is why I'm not worried. Uh, because one, the packs look great. And two, the source I got them from, super legit. And I'm, I think he might have even got it from a case. So it could have just been like something weird happened on the, uh, the assembly or whatever. Okay. Oh, wow. First up, we picked a big one. We have Jareth R who bought three separate orders for six total packs. So two, four, six packs. So this is the biggest order of the box break. He got six different packs. Most people got like two or one. First pack, Strike of Neos, first edition. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. Can we get a big pull? First pack, we have a lot of good cards potentially in here. What's a big secret in this set? I always forget the secrets in this set, but obviously, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh cards are what we're really looking for. So let's try to get that. Silent Abyss. Raging Earth. We have Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Lycanthrope. Oh, it's, speaking of secrets, the Radiant Gerald. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this is like a $3 secret, which is terrible. That is not a great start to this box. I think I had one of these the other day. That was unlimited, so maybe the first debt's more. But I don't think this is a great secret. I think this is one of the bad ones. I don't even know, what, is, what are the big secrets in this set? I can't remember. It's mostly like the ultras and ultis, I think, for the most part, but yeah, let me know the big secret. All right, pack number two. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Today's giveaway is these three retro pack super rares. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Will today be the day we pull the ultimate rare forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card? Radiant Gerald, you know, we'll respect it. It's a secret rare, but it's not the secret rare we're probably looking for. Grandmaster, Grandmaster. I knew there was a big six samurai card. That's right, Grandmaster's really good. That would be sick. One, two, three, four. Let's try to get a huge ulti in here as well. Turn to the six samurai. We have alien psychic, six samurai iru, a self scatter burst, advanced ritual art, umbral soul, six samurai Yuriza, charge of hero, chain of hero, reflector ray, and fusion devourer. That's just a rare on pack number two. Is this a new set? No, this set was released in 2007, so it's 17 years old. This has a card that is known as the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card because Konami has not reprinted this card ever. It's only been printed in Ultra in this set and Ultimate in this set, and since then has not been spoken of since. It's not on T-shirts, it's not on play mats, they put up Elemental Hero stuff. It's nowhere to be seen. It's been forbidden. We're not sure why though. All right, Shin's Castle Mist. We have Radiant Spirit. Let's try to pull something big. Six Samurai. Emblem, we have Advanced Ritual Art, Umbral Soul, Six Samurai, Yuriza, Change of Hero, Reflector Ray, and a Birthright, our next foil, Super Rare, this is a Gemini, Bring it, or it works for Geminis, bring back a normal monster, a little bit like Call of the Haunted, very cool. I don't really get why you would use this over the Call of the Haunted, unless Call of the Haunted's banned, so I guess that's why, because it's kind of just worse, but you know, pretty cool. Free as a $60 card, that's not bad. The 10 Air Neos would be pretty epic, yeah, I mean, getting an Air Neos at all would be really good. Near Mint Ulti? I would guess, if I had to guess, 500, 600, 700, something like that. Somebody could look it up, give us the TCG low on it. Probably a big price for the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card ulti. Could be more than that, actually. Emblem, Six Samurai Kamal. Grin Tactician, Swift Samurai Storm. Strux and Cyclone. Flashbang, Lycanthrope. The Advanced Ritual Art. And the Neospatian Grand Mole. Another sick rare card. 
That is a big ulti, but that only comes in the retail box. What do I missed? Any good pulls? We have pulled two foils so far. Nothing huge. Recently found my uh, childhood collection. A lot of first ed elemental heroes. Also found a minty first ed Gemini elf. That's awesome. Thanks for the five, Nate. That is a really sick, uh, really sick childhood collection. Because normally, minty cards in childhood, not happening. And elemental heroes, normally, it's just like, you know, garbage stuff. Like out of structure decks. Radiant Spirit, we have Destruction Cyclone. What are we on? Pack five okay for jareth so far he has two pull two foil pulls and neo neo's four so he's two for five so far not too bad last pack for jareth guys send him a little luck in the comments grand mole i i bet the rare the rare could be a couple bucks i'm not 100 percent sure it's still a great card i don't know how many reprints it has it's not too many i don't think sage of stillness sixth pack of the box last pack for jareth guys send him luck in the comments if you're watching on youtube in the future send him future luck who knows? It might work. We have Sage of Stillness. Shin's Castle of Mist. We have Ruxin Special. Radiant. Nasashi. Shin's Foot Soldier. Marionette Might. Synthesis Spell. Electric Virus. And Cloak and Dagger. So starting off with two foils. I don't really know how many you get normally in a Strike of Neos box. Let's go on to the next one. From now, from here on, hurry up. We're speeding through this thing. Are you kidding me? We're already six packs in. All right, next up, we have Tyler R with one pack. I notice all this extra room I have because Jareth had three different orders and I had to cut them all evenly. Okay. Tyler R, one pack. All right. Strike and Eos, the first set where they introduced Synchro Monsters. No, that is, they don't have Synchro Monsters in Strike and Eos. That is the Duelist Genesis a couple sets later in 2008. We didn't quite get to Synchros here. I think after this we had... Um, do we have Force of the Breaker, Phantom Darkness, Light of Destruction, then Duelist Genesis? So a few sets away. All right. Glow Moss. Anti-fusion de device. Can we get a one-pack magic? Sage of Stillness. Electric Virus. We got Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Lycanthrope. And a Dark World Dealings. That's actually a sick ulti we've pulled before in a box break. And I pulled it once when I opened a box for myself. Dark World Dealings, super rare. Just as a super, I think it's four or five bucks. If we get the ulti, it's very, very nice. So not horrible for one pack magic how many possible ultis usually it's one i think you can get two occasionally i don't know the total number of foils in here though okay michael s two packs okay one two three four okay a cell scatter burst we have two pack magic here glow moss anti-fusion device shian's foot soldier marionette might synthesis spell electric virus and another birthright double birthright interesting very nice i have i think we've done this before pulled double birthright interesting okay Six Samurai Nasashi. We got Emblem of the Awakening. Come on. Grin Tactician of Dark World. Umbral Soul. Yuriza. Chain of Hero Reflector Ray. The Six Samurai Zanji. And an Eliminating the League Rare. So one for two. Not terrible. What is that? How many foils is that? Four? Okay, next up. One in with one pack magic. We are down to, what is this? Ninth, tenth pack? Something like that. Ninth pack, it looks like. Okay. One pack magic for one. One, two, three, four. Send us some luck in the chat. Raging Earth, we have Return of the Six Samurai, Alien, Eru, Ritual Ceiling, Six Samurai, Yaichi, Firestorm, we have Legendary Ebon Steed. Oh, and a Frostosaurus. Pretty cool looking card. Frostosaurus, if it gets the ulti, it's a retail ulti. It's not crazy expensive, but it is a really cool looking one. Frostosaurus, vanilla, not a great card, but a very cool looking card. Okay, Steven R, four pack magic. So he has got two from that side and the next two. So we'll be down to only 10 packs left after this. All right, Steven R, four packs. Let's see what we can get. Return of the Six Samurai. We got Alien Psychic. Six Samurai, Iru, A Cell Scatterburst. Yuriza. Change of Hero Reflector Ray. Kaki Grillo Dark World. And the Transmigration Prophecy. Just a rare. Have an ulti elemental hero shining fire wingman. First at what did this value something? If that's an ulti, it's really big. If it's an ultra, it's a little bit. Okay, puppet plant, glow moss, anti-fusion, choo lane, ritual ceiling. We have Yaichi, Firestorm Prominence, Legendary Ebon Steed. And an ulti birthright birthright. Did we did we get this last time? I'm pretty sure we got this last time. It's how, it's not a great card. It's not horrible, but hopefully we get another ulti. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Birthright is the same one we got last time, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Still an ulti. We'll take it. Steven, congrats on the ulti. Two more packs. I think that's five foils now. I used Raid Raptor one time in... Was it an auction series or something? I think I used it when I did like a... 
build your deck from what you pull kind of thing one time as well. Grim Tactician, we have Swift Samurai, Silent Abyss, Yaichi, Reflector Ray, we have Zanji, Kaku Gorilla Dark World, and Ancient Rule. Ancient Rules is a cool ulti too if you do uh, if you do retail opening. Will we see a fourth? A fourth what? What's the Forbidden card? The Strike of Neos has the Air Neos, the Elemental Hero A Neos. That is the uh, Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. All right, Nasashi, Emblem, we have come on. Electric Virus, last pack magic for Steven, Lycanthorpe. The Air Hummingbird. Okay, two ultis in four packs. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, Steven. That's pretty sick. That's actually a decent one. Their hummingbird is, is not bad. Okay, four pack magic, certainly. Lots of magic. It is half of the air Neos. What's the other half? Elemental hero Neos, I guess. Plus uh, air hummingbird. Okay. We still haven't pulled, pulled our ultra though. And there might even be two. Are there two ultras in here? I think there might be two ultras in, the, in these sets. Oh, okay. Even if there's no more ulties, which there probably isn't. I mean, if we got a third ulti, that, that's got to be an error box or something. Here's the thing. Ultra Air Neos. Still a very expensive card. So let's try to pull that thing. Seth D. We have 10 packs left. Oh, there's a reason. The Air Neos. I mean, it's still in there. I think, what's the cheapest Air Neos Ultra? Is it 200 or is it 150? For near mint. One, two, three, four. And it, this one will be mint, so it's even better. All right, Grand Tactician of Dark World. We have Swift Samurai, One Pack Magic for Seth, Raging Earth, Flashbang, Lycanthorpe. We have the Advanced Ritual Art, Umbral Soul, Sky Scraper, Two Hero City, another super rare. Rux in the Go with Hot Hands, Reno. Thank you for the 9.99. Congrats on your two ultimate rares. Hopefully you can get some tins out of them too if you grade them. David M, three packs. Let's see if we can pull that Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Still no Ultras have been pulled. I think we're at six foils pulled. I, do you pull nine out of here? Is that what we get? Something like that. Normally it's like nine-ish. Never been a secret rare. Yeah, Air Neos has never been a secret. It's it's either ultra or ulti. Regular Neos has been a secret though, if that's what we were talking about. One, two, three, four. That's in the collector 10 from 2006. Okay, Shein's Castle missed. Let's try to pull some for David. Radiant, Nasashi, Emblem, Flashbang, Lagathorpe, Vance Ritual Art, Umbral Soul. Here we go. Hero Metal. Okay, just a rare on that one. I think we're at eight packs left in the box. I really want the secret rare. I ordered two, but got one, but the other is taking ages to even ship. That's brutal. Where'd you order it from? PSA 10 Ultra Rare sold for $630. Yeah. So that was a while ago because it was August, but I think that's a fair comp for the most part if it's like 150 raw and it's not exactly abundant on the art like on the market. Okay, anti-fusion, Sage of Stillness, Shean's Castle, Legendary Ebon Steed, Shean's Foot Soldier. Marionettes, Synthesis Spell, and a Sage of Silence. We got a Hero Metal, Sage of Silence so far. Can we get something out of this last pack for David? One, two, three, four. Here we go. Alien Psychic, we have Iru, Burst, Puppet Plant, Legendary Ebon Steed, Foot Soldier, Marionette Might, Synthesis Spell, and a Spiral Serpent. All right, oh for three, unfortunately, David. You get a little bonus in there, you get a bonus foil. For being here thank you for hopping in the box break we are down to only five or six packs left i think steve speaking of aay we have steven y up next with two packs and i think that leaves how many left four three okay yeah it is four okay two packs left send some luck guys hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream don't forget to subscribe 250k is coming up soon steven y still need that ultra we have do you get two ultras in these does anybody know i feel like you do or did they keep the GX ratios of 1 and 24? I, maybe it's on the pack. We'll look in a second. A-Cell Scatterburst. Puppet Plant. We have Glow Moss. Gorilla Dark World. Ritual Ceiling. Yaichi. Come on, Steven. Firestorm Prominence. And an Air Hummingbird. Another super rare. When you get the ulti, you get the super. It happens all the time. It's crazy. We got the Birthright, and we got the Hummingbird, and then we got the ulti. It makes perfect sense. All right. Second pack for Steven. I recently joined your channel. Love the content. Keep it up. Thank you, Jovian. How is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack in your area? Um, there have been a bunch of it, like in Walmarts and stuff. Okay, this pack is not opening. Should be written on the box. Oh, wait, we were going to check this. Oh, here we go. Uh, four Ultras, one in 24. So you get one Ultra on average. I mean, technically, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed to be one Ultra, but most of the time you're going to get one Ultra. Sometimes you even get zero. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. One, two, three, four. 
Ultra incoming. Send the luck, guys, right now. If Storm, Silent Abyss, Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, Gorilla of Dark World, Ritual Ceiling, Yaichi, Firestorm Prominence, and a Twister. I noticed the other day, ulti Twisters are like money, even unlimited. They're like 20 bucks or something. It was something ridiculous. I was like, why are they so expensive? Is Twister being used in anything, or is it just expensive for no reason? All right, Alexander P., last four-pack magic here, guys. And if anybody is interested in this empty box, I will have it for sale. You guys can hit me up via email, rodneyruxon34.com. I'll sell that box. Why is it called Edison? Because that is what that is where the last Edison, uh, or that is where the format was or took place. Edison, New Jersey, I believe. So uh, they played in Edison. It was like YCS Edison, or I think it might have actually not been a YCS. It was SJC Edison, maybe. Alexander P. Four Pack Magic, last packs of the box. So far, it's been good in terms of number of foils. It hasn't been great in terms of the actual pulls. I would say uh, Air Hummingbird's definitely our best pull so far. It was the last SJC. That makes sense. What's up, Hugo? Okay, one, two, three, four from the back. We have, by the way, I've been putting my Edison box together. It's almost full, like a two row. So I've got a bunch of cards in there. Silent Abyss, we have Raging Earth, Turn of the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic, Umbral Soul, Yoriza. Give us one Ultra at least. Six Samurai, DD Crow. That's a great rare. Good to see that. Classic. It'd be great if it was an ulti, but that's a retail box. Three packs left. You, uh, you think custom field centers are still okay to use in the EU? I'm not sure, actually. I just know that they made some announcement or something about mats. I don't know if they said anything about field centers. The old Tag Force game is in your Twitch channel. Not at the moment. Currently, we have Master Duel on Monday, and we're doing uh, Poker Rock stuff Wednesday, Friday. But who knows? I, I sometimes change up the schedule, so we'll see. Radiant Spirit, we have Nisashi. Emblem. Come on, Marionette Might, Synthesis Spell, Electric Virus, Cyclone, and Fusion Devour. Come on. Please have don't be a no ulti or a no ultra box. Four from the back. Here we go. Let's go. Grin. Swift Samurai. Silent Abyss. Zanji. Gorilla. We have Ritual Ceiling. Six Samurai Yaichi. Pulling the rug. That's actually a good rare. I think. I don't know if it's still expensive because it got the OTS reprint, but it was like a $10 rare. It was like really good at first dead. First edition Trike and Neo's last pack magic. B, the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. It will make up for everything. Here we go for Alexander. Let's do this, guys. Send some luck right now in the chat. One, two, three, four. We have Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic, Six Samurai Iru, Firestorm Prominence, Legendary Ebon Steed, Sien's Foot Soldier, Sheen's Foot Soldier, and this should be it. This is our last chance here, guys. I think this is the last card. Yeah. Last card of the box. We have not pulled an ultra. Upper deck was in charge with it. You know, Konami's. We're still blaming Konami, okay? Here we go. Last card for Alexander. Oh, the hero medal. Where's our ultra rare? The classic GX stunt of no ultra rare on the box. Normally, it doesn't matter that much. But now it does because we want that forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Unfortunately, not an amazing box. I mean, we did get two ultis, which is great. No ultra is kind of rough. No forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. So maybe next time, guys, we'll pull that ultimate rare. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.